Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, I will guide you through the process of synchronizing a database between two websites that share the same database without the access of the database servers or PSP my admin. This technique is uh, incredibly useful when you need to keep your local database in sync with a staging or production environment. It also works for synchronizing your staging or production database with your local development environment or syncing or staging environment database with a production environment and vice versa. By following these steps, you will be able to effortlessly maintain consistency across different environments. So without further ado, let's jump into the practical session. For this demo, I have set up this site as a source website and this as a destination website. I will sync the database from the source website to the destination website. Now both the sites are fully synced. To know the difference, I am going to create a post here. The post data will be stored on the source website's database and once we synchronize, the data or the post will also appear on the destination website. Checking the number of posts on the source website, we can see the two posts here. One is the default post while the other is the one which I created just before. Checking the number of posts on the destination website, we can see only one post, the default post. As I mentioned earlier, after the database is synchronized, the number of posts also should be synchronized between them. That means we should see an equal number of posts on both the source and destination websites. For this, we will need to install a free plugin named WP Sync DB on both the source and destination sites, thanks to the author Not Slang. To download the plugin, visit the link which you can see on the screen or you can get it on the description below. Click on the down arrow besides the code button and click on the download zip. Save the plugin file in a location where you usually store the downloaded files. Then go to the source website. Go to the plugin section. Upload the plugin to install. and activate it. In the same way, go to the destination website and install and activate the plugin. After the plugin is installed on the source and the destination websites, go to the dashboard of the source website. Hover over tools and click on migrate DV. Leave it as it is for now and go to the destination site dashboard tools and migrate db here you will have to create a pull request so click on pull go to the source website click on settings tab make sure accept pull requests allow this database to be exported and downloaded is checked copy the connection info go to the destination site and paste the connection info to the box under the pull button as you can see, the find and replace automatically detected the required info and automatically filled in on the box. Now you should just click on the migrate db button. As you can see, the pulling of database tables from the source website begins. The database sync may take some time depending upon the size of the database and the number of tables and their rows. Wait until the process is complete. Ok, pulling the database is now complete. Now reload the piece. Log into the WordPress dashboard and check the posts. As you can see, there are two posts now. This is just synced from the source website and this proves that the database synchronization was performed successfully. Ok guys, in this way you can synchronize database between the websites in the different environment even though you don't have access to database server or PSP my admin. That's all for this video. Please write in the comment below if you want to make me video on any topic, write the topic there. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.